Hi, here's a tutorial that will show you just basic motion tweens. So I'm going to start a new file. This is Flash CC, so if you have a different version, the color might be a little bit different, but the panels mostly are the same, the timeline's the same. Um, it's all pretty similar. Um, you might have to switch workspaces, uh, window workspaces. Essentials is kind of what it normally starts out with, but these panels can be rearranged and such. I'm just going to motion tween a very simple object. I'm just going to select the oval tool here and draw out an oval or a circle. I'm going to click and drag around this to make sure I have the whole thing selected. I'm going to go to modify, convert to symbol. We can just call this ball and hit OK. Now we'll do a typical motion tween on it. Select the ball, which is now a symbol. If you go to your library panel, you'll see it over here now, ball. And we'll just move from point A to point B. So select the ball, go modify. Sorry, insert insert motion tween. That will extend your timeline. This blue box is what I like to call the, mo the tween span. And that's the whole distance of the tween. Now you can change the length of that if you want, if you wanted to take more or less time. But essentially what you do then is go to any point in the timeline where you want the object to move to a different spot. So I went to the end here. Then you can just click and drag your object to a new position. And you'll notice this line popped up. And what that's doing is the ball is now, the first point here is called a keyframe. And then when we moved it, we created a second keyframe here at the end. And what Flash does, the tween fills in in between. Now if you want to do something else and not go in a straight line, you can go to a different point in the timeline, move the position, and now it has a third keyframe. One, two, three. And you could always kind of go back to that point in time and put it somewhere else if you want to, or even wherever you want. That is your basic tween. Now you can also do like rotations and things like that too. So I'm going to create a new layer, create a box, and you have to convert them to symbols to, to do a tween on them. So modify, convert to symbol, we'll just call it box. Um, you could do movie clips or graphic symbols, but for the most part we want to do graphic symbols for animation. Okay. So select the box, insert motion tween, and we want it to just rotate. Now this other the ball is still moving, and that's fine. We could actually delete that layer if that's a distraction. But um, so let's say over 60 frames, and like I said, you could change that. Let's say 45 frames. We want it to rotate one time. Well, just go to the very end here, your time, and in your properties panel, there is a section called rotation. And we can just say rotate one time. Oops. Now if you lose that by chance, you have to click somewhere in the motion tween and get that last keyframe here. Um, rotate one time and you say what direction you want to go, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise is fine. And now you'll notice when you scrub this timeline here, it will spin one time. Now you could change that and say two times. If you do that, it's going to go twice as fast because it's got to rotate twice. So that's your basic tweening.